Hi, I'm Doug Keating, and this is All The Way Leadership, a company designed with one purpose in mind, and that is to help make you a better leader. Today, I'm going to answer the question, why in the world start a company now? Let's go. I wrote the original version of this blog over a year ago. I would love to say that things have improved since then, but that would be a lie. They have not. If anything, the world has gotten worse. Much, much worse. In fact, when you look at the list of problems I'm going to talk about, none of them is solved. Add COVID to the list and you have the perfect recipe for a world on fire. I believe that lackluster leadership is preventing us from moving forward successfully. The main reason I officially launched All The Way Leadership is that the need is so great. This has become my passion project. Let's start with the bad news up front. We live in troubled times. The world is a mess right now, or at least it feels that way. Our current situation is probably nothing new. I bet our ancestors felt the same way. Life has always been hard. Perhaps we just notice it more these days. Watch the nightly news and you'll hear about a wide array of big challenges in our country and around the world. In fact, you can't listen to anything these days without hearing about the COVID crisis. It is a world pandemic problem. I'm gonna talk about a dozen world problems that need solutions. I know there are important items missing from the list. In fact, COVID isn't even included because it wasn't a problem when I wrote this. Bottom line is, it shows that we have our hands full right now. Number one, let's start with a biggie, and that is racism. It is a huge problem right now. Charlottesville scared everybody. How could something like that happen back in 2017? I went to school in Charlottesville, worked there, and lived there for many years. It is a sleepy, small southern town with a great university and a world-class hospital. Not a breeding ground for racists. And look at our country now. We've got riots going on. People are angry. A really tough situation. I'm not sure how you solve the problem of systematic racism that's been in place for decades, if not centuries. It is going to be tough. Number two, gun violence. The Las Vegas incident was disturbing, just like all gun violence incidents. There are way too many examples to list here without simply getting angry. Have we even started to deal with this problem? Are we just going to keep kicking the can down the road, hoping it gets better? It won't without a solution. Number three, another biggie, sexual harassment. This problem is not new. It's been building for decades, if not centuries. The list of creepy men will continue to grow as more men are exposed for their unacceptable behavior. One day, we men will hopefully learn. Let's make it today. Sexual harassment in the workplace and in the world, completely unacceptable. Number four, America remains divided. Recent elections clearly demonstrate that we are a divided nation. Congress remains mired in partisan politics. Hardly anything gets done. The two-party system is being questioned. Who can you trust these days, and when will we see progress? Hopefully soon. Number five, Europe is splintering. Brexit, that was the first sign of trouble. Several other European nations are struggling to put together coalition governments. The dream of a united Europe is starting to fade as countries decide to put their country first rather than Europe. It's going to be hard to keep that union together. I'm going to stop counting now. Cybersecurity incidents. Having your personal data stolen is starting to become a norm in life. The list of companies, organizations, and government agencies that has been hacked is way too long to list here, and it continues to grow. Is anyone's data really safe anymore? It's not. Terrorist incidents. We hoped this problem would go away, and we're even pulling out of Afghanistan. But the problem continues. You still see and hear about terrorist incidents around the world, and some even within our own country. Will the war on terror ever end? It's hard to tell. Rogue countries. 
North Korea and Iran to name a few. Does anyone think it's a good idea for either one of these countries to possess nuclear weapons? It's kind of like giving a six-year-old a bazooka. You would not do that. It's getting harder to stop their progress. Should we negotiate with maniacs? Hitler is a good lesson learned from history about that question. Russia meddling in our elections and other countries' elections. Looks like they did it using our own technology against us. I picture a shirtless Vladimir Putin smiling somewhere in Russia as he continues to create chaos in other countries to prop up his own country's stature. If you think 2020 election's gonna be different, doubtful healthcare costs. They continue to rise with no one in sight. Compare the cost of healthcare in the US with other developed countries in the world, it is eye-opening to see the difference. Sure, we have the best healthcare, but at what cost? I was on a boat one time in Amsterdam talking about this with Europeans. They laughed at our healthcare costs. And that was after Obamacare. Education costs. The cost of a college education continues to arise at an alarming rate. I have to write an in-state tuition check every semester. It takes my breath away, over $10,000. I do it so that my children do not have to graduate with a mountain of debt. I can only imagine what it must be like to write an out-of-state tuition check. I would probably cry. Sports. Even the sports industry is struggling really big time with COVID. The NFL, mess. Major League Baseball, mess. NBA, mm, they're actually making some progress. Remember when the big question was, should the players stand for the national anthem or not? What about all the entries? And now how do you deal with COVID? Ticket sales are declining and hard questions are starting to be asked of the players and owners. If you're getting paid a few million dollars to play a game, should you really sit on the sidelines and not play? I mean, come on, man. None of these problems will be easy to solve. They're big, complex, and the list continues to grow. I do not pretend to have the answers. I doubt any single person does. However, I do know that effective leadership will be needed to solve all of them. We have a great need for strong leadership in the modern world. I am gravely concerned that we lack the leaders to address these issues. If these leaders already existed, we would see more progress on a regular basis. The question you have to ask yourself is, does it feel like we're winning right now? I don't think it does. If it did, we'd all feel better and you would see progress. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm an eternally optimistic person. I want to end this blog on a positive note. Not all is doom and gloom. We have many leaders doing their best to deal with all of these issues. I do not want to discourage them. In fact, I want to applaud their efforts. They make a big difference every day. I want to help them by growing more leaders who will stand with them to change the world. We are making progress in some areas and we can do better. We can do it. I know that we can. This is a long video for thanks for hanging in there until the end. Let me finish where I started and that is all the way leadership is designed to help make you a better leader. I hope you join me in this journey to raise up the next generation of leaders. The world is in desperate need of more great leaders, women and men who can lead with confidence, clarity, and creativity. It's time to become the leader your world needs. Let's go all the way.